What another lucky break. The doors of CNBC were open and uh, in breezed uh, a former president of the United States. Here is a gentleman that's face is familiar, I guess, to everyone in the world. See if you recognize it, a man who certainly needs no introduction. Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Uh, introduction. Mr. Reagan, it's a pleasure and, uh, and a treat, really, to see you. Well, and all I have to say is, God bless you. Uh, <laughs> Dick, I hope that isn't all you have to say. But you no, say. well, Dick Cavett, there is much more to say. And uh, I only know what I'm told. I see. Uh, well, perhaps you'd tell us a few things. Uh, well, I, uh, uh, I'll, I'll have you know that Americans around the world know that you and your deeds have kindled the flame that burn deep in our souls and provide endless inspiration to all those you touch. You have carried that torch and held it high for all to see. You're talking about me? For all who yearn to see our shores from sea to... Uh, <laughs> yes, it's hard to am see I st Am I still president? Uh, uh, you're, no, you're not only that, but you're still president. And I was going to ask you if um, you've enjoyed an active retirement. It certainly seems so. Well, you know, a lot of move, people... Uh, yeah. A lot of people think I'm retarded, tired, um, but I'm, I'm not, uh, no, Nancy and I, I must say, Dick, that uh, Nancy and I uh, enjoyed being president, and we enjoyed traveling all over this great world of ours. We've she been enjoyed doing, being president as much as you did. And, uh, uh, well, she is always looking up at me with those adoring eyes. Uh, uh, <laughs> but we've been to England and Ireland and over there. Uh, and I know we were over there because when we were leaving, there was a big sign at the airport that said, you are now here. So I know that I was over there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> You're one of those people when you see the map that says you are here. I, was reassured I, know, by that it, I, was, I yeah. know that I was over there. Yeah. You see. And um, um, can I bring up Japan? Uh, I'm about to bring up my lunch, but that's another story. <laughs> yeah. No, I eat well these days. I'm sure you do. But anyway. Japan. You were just in Japan, sir. Yes, I was. Yeah. And uh, there was a lot of criticism while you were there. In fact, uh, one of our best comedy writers wrote a piece called, uh, Would You Buy a Used President? Obviously, the Japanese would. And we all know about the $2 million you got for, what was it again? Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just get the script and I hit my mark. And I, you're in show business. You know what it's like. Well, yes, I okay. went from being spokesman for General Electric to spokesman for the General Electorate. And now I'm going, what's wrong with going over there to Tokyo? Oh. Uh, and and <laughs> making a lot of... They told me to say that stuff. when I walked in from the green room. Oh. <laughs> they put me in an oval room, an oval office, to make me feel comfortable. And, but I, they, I need a corner to prepare in, and I, I couldn't they, find it there. But, but you certainly looked for it for a long time. And well, time. yes. <laughs> well, about that. <laughs> but Tokyo was, you know, they eat different kinds of food there. Uh, I didn't know what it was. Uh -huh. Those darn Tokyonians, they have their customs. But they waved yes. us right through. We didn't have to go through um, customs. But we have, um, we're having a wonderful time Well, that, yes, I can I see I have that. a new commercial I'm coming out with. Oh, what will that be? Would you, could I do it for the folks at home? Why, sure, yes. We don't. Is that okay? Sure. If you opens you to criticism of being mercenary, well, I what the hell. Well, I go to Sony, uh, to Japan, and I uh, have a couple of commercials that are about to come out. Do I have time for this? Uh, sure, uh, just do it right. quickly. Okay, hi folks, remember me? Uh, we already taped it, but I'll give you a preview. Hi okay. folks, remember me? Ron Reagan here. When I was president, I had an awful problem with leaks. Today's no different. That's why I wear these. Depend undergarments for my own personal peace shield. And so should you, because you never know when there you go again. <laughs> Maybe it will win a Clio. Oh, it's something at least, yes. I won't ask you if you don't dye your hair, who does? No, uh, I bleach my face. I see. We'll be back right after this. Thank you, sir, for being here and, and being well, such a good sport. Well, I like sports. Did I ever tell you about the time yeah, I No, was... we we're off right now, but we, we hope you'll be back sometime. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if not, there. Okay.